Hey, happy Feature Friday. I want to show a cool feature that might help you collect more money from your customers. So um, maybe you've got a customer that you typically are invoicing and maybe they don't always pay every single invoice on time. Um, one feature some systems like QuickBooks have is you can show the balance forward and a little account summary on the invoice. So every time they get an invoice from you, kind of like this, this is an invoice for $65, but you can show them you've got a couple invoices open for this much, new charges, and you owe $780. So they'll get this $65 invoice, but it shows they owe $780. So this is one way to make your invoices automatically show your customers they have this balance due. So every time you're emailing an invoice out, it's kind of reminding them, hey, you need to pay all this money. Um, so there's a couple little changes I'll highlight here. One is this new section in red, and then the other is down here at balance due, you'll notice it doesn't show the invoice total, it shows the $780. So there's a tag for this, and there's a tag for balance due, and I'm gonna walk you through making those edits. So. Um, we give some snippets of code here and here. We'll open those in new tabs. Um, the second one is the entire invoice template, like ready to go. So that if you click raw, you can just copy paste this into your template editor under source. You just copy and paste it over. I'm gonna do it the hard way to just show you what that looks like in case you've got something that's already customized. Um, so. Instead of invoice balance due, we're gonna put in the tag customer open balance. We'll copy that. And um, which one do we wanna show that on? Balance due up there is different than total balance due down here. So we'll just do the bottom one like the screenshot shows. Let's see if pasting that over works. That looks good. And then we need to insert this bit of HTML, it says put this right below the section with the first balance due above the line items table. Copy. So we're going to look for the line items table. That's this table in the source. Feel free to have your web developer do this if this is intimidating, but right after these style sheets, we're probably going to see um, balance due, this is probably our line items table, so we're just gonna stick this here and see what this looks like. Hey, it worked. Customer up and balance, we're gonna update this template and look at our preview. Look at that, so here's, I went and made my most recent invoice for a customer that I knew had an open balance, so I'd be able to see it in this preview. Um, here we've got a $95 invoice, we've got some balance forward, and they owe us $431. So that's all there is to it. If you didn't like that code editing, you could take this full one, copy, and paste it right in here. Just paste, boom, you'd be done. Um, but if you've got customizations, you can do it the long way. Okay, once you've got your invoice set up, another really cool trick you can do is um, you can automatically send invoice reminders out to your customers. So here in the admin section, um, anywhere with the admin nav, you can see open invoice reminders. So this allows you to create a rule like um, 30 days late after end days or every end day of month. I like the after end days. So this means we'll send a reminder after however many days. Um, the other mode, we'll just read this. Um, after end days, we'll send one time per invoice when the invoice is end days old. So for example, 30 days. Every end day of month, we'll repeatedly email every individual open invoice every month on that day forever. So you could have like, if you've got a bunch of people that um, invoices are due at the end of the month, you could say in the 15th of the month, every invoice that's overdue, just email to people. Um, so that's one way to do it. And the other is, let's send a reminder once when something is 30 days late. Um, so this means if you've got an invoice you make today and it's due a month from now, 
this will send a month after that. It'll calculate plus 30 days from the due date. Um, so that is what we want. You can have it CCU if you want, so you can get a copy of these so you know when people are being reminded. And then you can write a message. Um, hey, we want to remind you about this open invoice. Let us know if you, you think you have paid this and we didn't get it marked as paid. Take care and we'll enable it and create. So this is going to run daily, kind of like the recurring invoice system and just going to remind people. So this in conjunction with you know, putting the account summary on your invoices is a really good way to kind of send people almost like a statement um, every single Hope month. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.